Okay, uh, and this is now a mirror. I'm just going to test the uh, oxygen sensor uh, directly off the oxygen sensor using a digital storage port. Um, I'm connected directly using um, uh, by channel one on the scope, and it, the signal wire is connected to the actual black wire out of the oxygen sensor. And the ground then is on the grey. And uh, I have it on the scope here. This is the waveform you have to see at idle. Uh, to test the pulley, I'm going to have to uh, raise the uh, revs to uh, 2000 revs. I'm just going to raise the revs of the uh, the engine now to 2,000 uh, RPM. Hold it there. now at 2000 RPM and as you can see the um, upper voltage is above um, 800 millivolts which is good and the lower voltage is uh, below 200 millivolts I'm just going to pause it okay I'm pausing it here now and I'm just going to work with it and um, see so can I expand it a bit I'm just going to get this on 600 millivolts.
okay I have it there um, the time taken for the switch between um, 600 millivolts and 300 millivolts is 17.6 milliseconds um, took a bit of work to uh, get the cursor to okay there you are I have the uh, waveform up there and uh, it shows um, the, the voltage the maximum voltage I got there was 883 millivolts that's above the 800 millivolts that's required and the um, minimum is 51 millivolts which is uh, below the uh, 200 millivolts uh, required the switching time then is uh, the, the time taken to go from 600 millivolts to 300 millivolts and that's at 17.6 milliseconds which is adequate enough uh, I hope that is of some help to someone that's uh, trying to check out their oxygen sensor on their Almira Thanks for watching.